Don't look back. And don't stop anywhere in the plains. Flee to the mountain. Or you will be what? Swept away. Somebody say, I'm on a run. I'm running out of this um, 2009 and I'm running into 2010. There are some stuff that happened to me in 2009, 2008, 2007, 2006. I, I can't even get, um, get, uh, let you know what happened to me. I am in a sprint. Somebody say, I'm in a sprint. Because I hear the word of the Lord saying, do not what? Do not what? It says what? Do not look back. And do not what? Stop. One more time. What the word of the Lord coming to us today saying what? Don't look back and... Oh, come on, come on, come on. Somebody help me. One more time. What's the word is? Don't look back and don't stop. I don't want to look back to them dumb stuff that happened in my life. I want to move on. Somebody say hallelujah. It says do not stop. Do not look back. Get on out of this plain of Solomon Gomorrah. Get to the highest point because destruction is coming. So tell somebody I'm not looking back to things that God wants to destroy in my life. I can't hear you. Come on, tell somebody. I do not want to look back at the things that God is destroying in my life, out of my life. I am not looking back at them. Somebody say, uh-huh. I am not going to gift wrap the packages that God want to destroy. I am not going to gift wrap the junk in my life that God is saying don't look back at them. God wants to destroy them. Come on, touch somebody, help me, please. Stop gift wrapping the junk. Ah, uh, you come on. You gotta help me quickly. Stop gift wrapping the junk because God's coming at the junk and He's saying, "I am what." taking them out of your life. I am destroying them. In Lot's um, life, he was sending what? Fire and brimstone. Somebody said, I like fire. And I like brimstone. So God is sending it to you tonight, some fire and some brimstone, and he's burning up some junk out of your life. So help me preach and tell somebody, do not give up the junk in 2009 and cut it over and pull it over here in 2010. Somebody shout and say, no, not so. Somebody help me preach and say, do not stop. And do not look back as we cross over into 2010. I feel like preaching. I came to talk, but I, I feel like preaching. Uh-huh. Somebody say, uh-huh. Somebody say, don't stop. Don't look back. I ain't going to give up that junk. Uh, you, you, you may say, well, you remember what happened? You remember what you did? But hey, 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 hey. You remember, but uh, I am going over here on the other side. Uh, somebody say, Hallelujah. So this was a command that God, that God sent his angel and he gave unto the family of, of Lot and say, don't stop and do not look back. But as we move on, he says in Genesis 19 and verse 17, he says, but his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt. Somebody in the family look back. Touch somebody in your family and say, please don't, don't be the one in the family to look back. Come on, help me preach. I said, do not be the one in the family to look back. We want the entire family to go on together. We want to go up to the plane together. Ah, oh, somebody say hallelujah. We want to go on to the future together. Ah, oh, somebody say hallelujah. We want to go to the high area and we want to look down and see what's been the, all the gunk and everything. And when folks say, remember when you say, I'm standing up and I'm looking down and in God's book, it has already been destroyed. Oh, somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say thank God. Oh, for his destructive power. Tell somebody don't look back. Don't look back. It is very destructive when you look back. I want to progress. I want to go on into the future. Oh, somebody say hallelujah. You know, in our mind, we have some times when we look back. We have some good times when we look back. We love the good times. We have some real bad, nasty times. We like to look back. Uh, but, 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 but the Bible is encouraging us uh, not to look back. Somebody say, uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you can look back at the good and smile at the good. The, the, the gory, bad, grimy stuff. You let it go. Let the brimstone and fire deal with the issues. Oh, somebody say, uh-huh. 
So he says, do not stop and do not what? Look back. Tell your neighbor what? Do not stop and do not look back. And so tonight, refuse to be trapped in your past. You see what happened, Sister Lot? She was trapped in her past. And even though God sent the angels and said, tell Sister Lot, don't look back. She looked back. Why? Because she was trapped in her past. Somebody said, "Uh uh-huh. But not only women can be trapped in their past but men can be trapped in their past too and all the women so that sounds good so we could kind of balance it up and so uh, it's going to be good somebody says it's going to be good Mm -hmm. and so let's look at the consequences of looking back number one she looked back and she was changed into a pillar of salt you see when you look back you're going to be changed somebody said you're going to be changed you see your speech it will be changed your walk will be changed somebody said aha uh-huh. your, your face will be changed somebody said aha uh-huh. folks will look at you and say you look changed that's number two number two it will what change you looking back will what change you touch somebody say looking back will change you and sometimes we are walking going along and we don't know that we are experiencing change because what we are looking back and everybody looks say he changed and she changed but we just don't know we're just walking along striding along looking back but the word of god tells us this this evening that we must not stop and we must not what look back i can't hear the house up in here one more time the word of the lord is telling us what we must not stop and we mo- we must not uh-huh because when we when we look back it's going to bring change when sister lot looked back it brought irreversible change in her life somebody said thank god for jesus Somebody said, thank God for grace. You, you see, you, you see, in, in the Old Testament time, when you mess up, you mess up, and God give you cannon and kang bang. But Lord, tell somebody, thank God. I can't hear. Help me preach. Thank God for grace. You see, she disobeyed the commandment of God sent by the angel. You see, the email sent by God via the angels, and she messed, and she messed it up looking back. When she looked back, it brought her own what? irreversible I can't hear the house up in here irreversible change that is change that you cannot come back to it cannot be reversed somebody said thank God that when I mess up even if I cannot slightly look back I'm, I'm not going to experience a, a, a change like a lot somebody said hallelujah but God can change me now somebody touch you and say God change me Uh Uh-huh. Consequences of looking back. Number three, looking back would stagnate you. That's why the enemy will ask you to look back. Because you can neither help yourself, nobody in your family, or nobody outside of the kingdom. Number four, looking back would impede your growth. Looking back would impede your speed. Somebody said, "Mm mm-hmm. Consequences of looking back. Number five, looking back will cause you to miss out on your future successes. Your future what? Blessings. Things. Touch somebody say, don't look back. Ah, somebody say, hallelujah. Consequences of looking back. Number six, looking back uh, is a spiritual momentum breaker. You see what happened? The enemy, as we cross over from t- 2009 into 2010, do not look back. We want all of us to flow together with the flow. Touch somebody say, let's flow together. Uh, with the flow in 2010 2010 because when we look back you see when we look back somebody say when we look back we're going to break the momentum in prayer in worship somebody say hallelujah touch somebody say we're not going to break look back to break the spiritual momentum let, let me say come on let's go let's go i am not going to look back to break the spiritual momentum in 2010. Number seven, looking back is dangerous. Because when you look back, what happened? The enemy wants to petrify you. And I want to talk to your mind and say, the state that you're in right now is irreversible. But somebody tell the devil he is a liar. Somebody say hallelujah. This is not under the old covenant. This is under the new covenant. And